Hi guys, Cindy over at Paper Old and New. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel. Um, we are working on Roxy's Weekly Challenge. Um, I'm playing catch up. So this is something you've probably already seen. Uh, I'm working on week 28. We are going to collage some book page. Now what I've done is I've stuck two book pages together because my book pages are kind of flimsy. Because we're going to collage these and then we're going to make tags and stuff out of them. So I wanted to make sure that they would be at least a little thicker. They'll still have to be backed, but at least this gives them some body. I have done, I have set up two, I've set up three to collage. That will give us, I mean, at the very least, it will give us nine tags. So I'm not going to get overly ambitious. I'm thinking nine is way more than I'm going to get done. So that's where we're going to start. Um, I got out some of these little deco papers. When I was watching Rachel do this, she seemed to be doing it in kind of square pieces. So I've got some deco papers here of all different kinds that I thought I would use to do these. I'm gonna set two of these off to the side. Ironically enough, we're gonna need another piece of paper to do here. You know what, we'll just use this one. I'll try and keep this relatively neat. Huh. We'll see how that goes. I don't know if I should trim these edges because I think it will make it easier since I'm working with straight um, pieces. There we go. Is this tall enough? Not really. Well, kind of. Only because part of it doesn't need cutting. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this edge. So I hope everybody's doing well. And how, I just put the guard up on that and then tried to cut with it. I hope everybody's doing well and finding crafty things to do and um, maybe trying this out. Uh, if not, you just want to see me fumble through another craft video. You know, feel free to get yourself a, a coffee and a, a snack and a you know, we can chuckle at all the funny things that I do, <laughs> like not cutting all the way through my paper for some reason. There we go. Okay. All right. I'll put my little, I got this little, little eight inch guy. All right, let's go to town. So I'm going to start with, I think I'll start with relatively plain. What do you think? So maybe we'll put this here. I don't know. I'm, I've also got some like strips of, uh, scrapbook paper that I've been using on other projects and things of, of that nature off to the side here. So am I sticking my head in the camera? Sorry. This is what happens when I try to work up high where you guys can see. I can't see. <laughs> okay. So it's hard because I can't see everything. So I'm like fumbling through it. It's not hard. It's just Time consuming, I guess, would be the word. I suppose I could overlap these. Huh. Well, those are going to get overlapped because that doesn't fit. So. Um, yeah, I've been, for some reason, I have had a heck of a spring and beginning of summer as far as like, um, I don't know, allergies, colds, something. And, um, so it's been, I've, I've been having trouble getting stuff, um, like staying caught up with all the collabs. I love doing these, but I've just been having trouble staying caught up with them because it's just, I don't know what it is, guys. Hmm. I wonder if I could do a little overlapping there. I'm, I'm scared to do too much overlapping just because I don't want it to be like, I don't want there to be like these spots where it's like knots because there's, 
two or three pages overlapped. Okay. So we have that there. Now, should we try and pull in a little more, hmm, maybe some color like this? I figure anything that hangs off the bottom, I'll just cut off and use elsewhere. I was gonna try I was gonna try gluing on the paper but I decided that would be a bad idea because I didn't know how far out this way I was gonna have to come so although I've always said when you're working on book page you can mark by the the words right okay let's see what else we got over here did I do? I don't want to put that there yet. Oh, what about this? Put that on there? I don't know. That feels a little too bright. What else do I have under here? I wanted a long, tall. Oh, what about this one? That might be a good idea. These look birds. I don't know how those are going to end up because I know when I cut tags, they're going to end up getting cut. So I'm what about this. Okay. And then maybe. So these are kind of nice because they're already cut into like different shapes. Uh, well, different. Um, different size rectangles. <laughs> I'll get it out in a second. I don't know about that. This is going to be hard right here. So I kind of want to put some more green. What if I do this? Wait for this, not this. It's not wide enough. What if I put it sideways across the bottom? Like this. Or I could even bring it up and go like that. Okay. What I don't have, I think this, all this is not glued down yet. So I have to. This is a square. <clears throat> Okay, let's do that. So we need this one, not that. We need this one. Hopefully if I can get them all cut out, then we can figure out some, you know, ooh, decorations and stuff for them. I'm hoping to be able to decorate them. Me guys. I 
I'm getting more practiced at it, but my videos where I decorate still run a little long, so we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm getting better at it though, so that's, that's good. Um, just as long as I set myself some sort of a plan and a direction. Inevitably though, I leave something out and have to go hunting in my stash for it. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't think I glued that corner very well. Let's see if it sticks. I guess it's sticking, okay. Okay, now this one was not overlapping. It was just... butting up against that pink half of that, this one. So like that. I apologize if you're looking at the back of my head again. Every once in a while I glance over at my camera to see if I'm actually <laughs> um, in the, in the frame. But I think when I, I think when I, glance over, I, I pull back with my head and I end up not being able to tell whether or not I was under the camera or not. These deco papers are thin. You can see them crumpling under my glue stick. They're really thin. This is like copy paper. That's not any, it's not any cards or anything like that. Okay, so that's one. That's pretty cool. That turned out all right. Okay, I'm going to set that one off to the side and we'll figure out what to do with it in a minute. Let's pull another one down. I'll trim the edges again. Get my little ruler. I apologize, by the way, if while you're you know watching, you happen to glance at this book page and notice anything um, derogatory or... They are more modern book pages, which is why I'm covering them up. <laughs> and which is why I use them as glue book page. So they hopefully don't inadvertently get into a project with something on them that shouldn't be there. That's happened to me. When I first got started, I wasn't paying any attention to that and I didn't even think about it. And I've been, I've been watching videos and stuff and people were commenting on it and I was like, oh my gosh, I hadn't even... I mean, I read the books, some of them, some of them were books I've read. So I knew the stuff was in there. I just didn't really think about it, you know, so, oh, well, okay. We're going to start this one upright and see if, not that it's necessarily going to make a difference difference, but I'm just going to see what happens if we start it in the upright position. I might cover this under here. Because Lord knows I have plenty of stuff to... Here's another one of the... Oh, that might be... Hmm. I need a shorter one. A short... One of the short guys. Let's see what we got. Postcards, postcards. We'll do a postcard with a stamp. Oh, I both of these. There's this guy. I feel like that's a long one. This is a long one. Okay, so all my short guys. I'm looking for this mid-size one. I wonder if I should put some dark in here. I don't know how I feel about that yet. Maybe if I turn it this way.
I don't want to, I don't want to, um, uh, two longs going that way. I don't want to, <laughs> yeah, it'll play out in my head eventually. What if I did this though? I could do it like that. And I could put this one. This one's more woodsy, I think. Well, at least the colors are turning out that way. I don't hate it. Uh, I know that's not a ringing endorsement, but... It's actually this piece that I might change out. What if I switch it out for, what if we move this up and then we move this up into the middle like that. And then I can put this one on here like this. Ooh, I like that. Kind of a stair step. Um, and then if I was going to do dark, I could do it at the bottom. Maybe hanging down off of here like that. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. I wonder if I could do this one on here. Hmm. The problem is going to be this bottom because of the, uh, The way it ends. Oh, that's not. Where is it? This one has words on it. No. Would it help if I moved the birds up a little bit? No. I'm going to get this. We're going to get it. I wonder. If I shouldn't pull in some of this. Okay. And then I have maybe too tall, maybe right there. Okay, guys, now we got to glue it down. <laughs> okay, let's move all this out of the way. that up there. Okay, so let's get this down. This is on the bottom here. I'm going to kind of slide it so that I still have an idea of what's going on. <laughs> Maybe, I hope. Okay, so that's not glue on the bottom. 
Okay, so this, I'm actually going to flip it around so that we get the lines, the interest from the, oh, the numbers are upside down if I do that. Well, that's okay, because if I turn this sideways and cut it as tags, not really going to matter. Kind of makes me wonder if I shouldn't rearrange this a little bit and try and get the birds going this way, so that if I do cut it as tags, this top piece down. I like the little bird postcard thing, but he might, I might have to replace him and use something more generic and then use him as a embellishment on something. That goes on there. This was here, right? Because we didn't have this across the middle. What if we put this back in? Put that across the middle. So I'm going to replace the birds. Makes me wonder if I still want to use that piece now. Be only because the reason I had that in there was because I had the birds on there and this little branches. So I'm wondering if I could get, where is he? Nope. This little guy in here instead. <clears throat> oh, actually that doesn't go there. Let's get both glue on both of these. Guys, I am making a mess. Okay, so this goes here. And then this one goes here. And this one I'm going to change it up just a little bit. I'm going to put this down first. Making adjustments on the fly, guys. I'm just hoping they all work. It's a fun way. I will say this. Um, I don't know when you'll which videos you'll see when. Uh, these deco papers were in my giant two-part haul for July. So I don't know if that goes, if that'll be up before this goes up or not. I think it will be. Um, and these were not what I was expecting them to be. I'm not, I mean, now that I've found a use for them, I'm not, you know, totally disappointed with them, but they weren't what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but I think when they came, they were smaller than I expected. If that makes sense. I think I was expecting them to be bigger pieces of paper. And that probably has something to do with me not reading properly, but, you know. Actually, this is going to go down first, right? And then this. Hmm. 
And then that, that was supposed to tuck under these. I don't know if I can... What I might do, I'll turn it around and put the kind of grungy side up here just up against the top. I won't overlap them. That way the grungy side gets on here. I can even tear this down some. I don't know why I'm tearing it down some. I mean, I'm not talking about saving a huge piece of paper here or anything, but this is scrapbook paper and it's definitely slightly thicker than the decoupage paper. Oh, do you see that piece of glue stick I just chunked off of there? Um... Well, that's how that was supposed to, this is not how this was supposed to go. That is not supposed to, I cut, I took off too much. Oh, perfect. Well, I guess I'm going to glue that on. Just have to have a weird crease in it. Here, we'll use this glue stick piece. That's weird. It's like a chunk got cut out of there from the uh, paper. This is me trying to keep my fingers out of the glue, guys. <laughs> Can you tell? And then my glue rag goes missing. Okay. I'm gonna get that on there. Should have just left well enough alone. Ooh. All right, let's fold this inside out. Can you see? Leftover scraps from Halloween. like sliding all over the place because of the like coating from the ink from the print. Okay, I actually this is actually gonna hang off so this one last piece. Also going to hang off. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just put the whole thing in there. Okay. So that's the other one, or that's another one. Let's see if I can get real quick through this. They're taking about, I don't know. Okay, so what we're going to do for this one. Trim my edges up. Just a hair. And then on the other side. I just want to get these torn pieces off because it makes it harder for me to judge edges and whatnot when I'm doing these straight pieces on. So it's just going to there we go. Okay. Put a guard on that so I don't cut myself. I got under here. A few pieces under here I might use. Okay. 
I might use that as a page edge. And then glue straight pieces on it. Using up scraps, guys. Gotta use up scraps, right? So we'll put that down. Now I want to put some of this down because I'm trying to do Lots of strips over here, guys. Um, maybe I don't want to put that in there yet. Maybe I want to. I need some middle sized ones. Where'd they all go? I'm losing it. <laughs> Are all my middle sized ones postcards now? <laughs> or like I don't want to put that there. I don't mind putting it on there. I just don't want it there. Okay, well then, we're going to do those like that, and then put this over top like that. Yeah? I don't know. I put that up there. And this down here. Okay. And then I just need like a square, something oh, what about this? I don't hate it. I'm not totally in love with it, but I don't hate it. It'll be almost. Where's my scissors? Did I put them away? No. Guys? 
Did I bury him? Did you see me bury my scissors? I'll use this pair. I can't find my blue candle pair. I gotta be around here somewhere, so I suppose I'll find them shortly. Get that out of here, and then I think maybe this will go. Put it like that. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. All right, once again, we got to slide down. Slide down and up. Those three can go down first. So we can get all this stuff collected up and get put away. Okay. So this is the last one, and then we can cut them up into uh, cards and tags and whatnot. I don't remember how wide these pages are, so we'll measure them and then we'll figure out what we like with the size that we get and go from there. Okay, and then we're going to put this one at the bottom. So we have all of our underneath pieces glued. And then we'll come and do the next layer, which I think is the rosebud pieces, so. All right, so then we have this one. is so it's hard to I guess it's because I'm using this glue page has got glue all over it I need to switch it out or whatever okay and then this goes here right is that what we said not quite yet this has got to go on like that and then this goes here. Oh, up like that. That's why there's a gap that I needed to cover up with. Okay, and we can put this I'm just gonna glue this down first because I had it butted up against and that I think will work better. Cause this is thick, so I don't want to. Oh, it's thicker. It's not copy paper thickness. It's still not cardstock, but it's not. It's not as thin as this stuff. So I don't want to. Um, like I said, I don't want to make any layers with the scrap of paper that I don't need to make.
Makes me wonder if I shouldn't turn it around. But for better or for worse, that's the way it's going on there. All right, last piece, and then we can start cutting. Hopefully, I will get a chance to decorate some of the tags. One or two of them, maybe. Okay. All right, guys. So these are our, our things. Let me... I'm going to pause you for just a second while I make myself some space <laughs> and I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, guys. So here we are with our pages. Let's go ahead and trim the edges. I wish I could find my blue scissors because those are my sticky scissors and I don't like to get my other sticker. My other, oh, I see them behind me. These are my sticky, yucky scissors. Okay, so most of the, for the most part, these pages are about nine inches long by um, about five and a half to five and three quarters. So we're gonna figure out what we wanna do with our nine inches. Just trim this one and then we'll turn it over. And again, I apologize if you catch something on here that is derogatory or inappropriate. Um, that's why I say not for kids in my thing. Okay. Um, now, my thought was I like three and a quarter inch tags, but these are, na uh, these are not as tall. Usually I like three and a quarter to go with like a six or a seven inch tag or a six and a half or seven inch tag. So with these being what they are, which is about five and three quarters to a little over five and a half, I'm thinking that if I do tags, let's try two and a half inches and see what we think about that. I don't want everything to be narrow, but in the same token, let me get my little ruler because these pages are small enough that I can use it. And we're going to go right along here. And we'll do a two and a half. Okay. Now what does that leave me? That leaves me about six and a half. Let's do another two and a half. That leaves me a four by six and a half piece, I think. No, a four and a half, a four by five and a half piece. That's not two and a half. Wait a minute. One, two, and a half. It's going to put me there. That was close. <laughs> That's not straight because the words are printed straight, which means that moved. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Whatever that is. All right. Now. I think I might do a belly band, like a across the page belly band, which will need to be about an inch and a half, which will leave me with one, two, wait, one, two, and a half. Oh, all right, well. Cut it to seven again. Assuming nothing moves. And this will be a belly band.
assuming I can cut straight against a ruler, no less. Okay, there's another tag. Good lord. Should just make this easy on myself and do. This one is a little over five and a half. Was this a wider one? What's this one? This one's almost six. I kind of want to do. I'm going to do a three inch one out of this since it's taller. I mean, since it's. Maybe I'll do three three inch ones since this one's taller rather than overcomplicate this. Okay, and then on this one, I'm going to do a four and two two and a half only because I want a pocket. So we'll see what our pocket looks like. One, two, three, four. I want to get a pocket out of here. Depending on what it is. If it's the roses going up and down, I might turn it into a journaling card. Wait. The heck? Okay. Right here. Sorry, I didn't mean to him and haul so much with my cuts. That first one, I I just like to get a variety of things to use. Okay, here goes nothing. All right, my pocket. Okay, that'll work. So that's my pocket. What did I do with my, here it is. And my All right, so I'm gonna do this. Whoa. Just to remind myself it's a pocket. All right, so we have that. Now let's look at all of our tags. Nice, 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 guys. Nice, nice, nice. Oh good, this one is the one that got cut into three. So look, we got Oh, I like them. Um... Yeah, I like them. Um... Okay, and then this is we got a little belly band. I wanted to this will go across the page, right? So that and then these are tags. Alright, cool. So Let's see what we can decorate these with. I don't know about the belly band. Also, I had these two from my practice run, which are single pages, which is why they're all curled and kind of flimsy, because I didn't glue book page together for these, which is why I knew I needed to glue book page together for these ones. I like the way these guys look on this stuff. The problem is, well, no, it's not a problem anymore. Okay, so what we're going to do, let me get my little card. This is a two and a half inch pocket, so let me use my little corner. First, wait, this doesn't go all the way to the edge. Let's get this cleaned. Like so. And then we're going to take this and we're going to use our little corner to, I figure I start little. If I don't like it, I can always cut bigger, but if I cut big and I don't like it, I'm stuck. Right? Okay. And then I thought maybe this on here. Get 
one of Tina's numbers. Oops. If I could just cut a straight line, that would be awesome. Well, maybe I shouldn't get the brown one. Yeah, we might, I'll save that one for a different one because I'm sure I'll use them. I want to get something that... Something that sticks out a little more. I wasn't paying attention to the fact that the bottom of that tag is like basically like coffee dye colored paper ad or tag or whatever down there. So it kind of blended in. Yeah. Maybe we'll move that over like that. Okay. I'm just going to get them off of here. Oh, there he is. Oh. And I got to get my I need a book page. <laughs> oh, the irony. Um, using up a lot of glue stick today. Oops. Okay. So we're going to put him on here. Just like that. Oh. Let me drop some dishes. Oops. Uh oh, I must be at the end of the stick. It's falling out. Okay. So there's one. I do have some more of these stamps that I really, really like. Wait. At least I thought I had more than that. Okay. What is this stuff? No wonder I can't find anything. Where's that little... Oh, here they come again. I don't know if I'll be able to use that on one of these. They're losing things left and right. Okay, sorry about that. They all came home from shopping and had to put stuff away and it was a noisy mess down here. While they were putting things away, I cut some stuff out so you wouldn't have to watch me cut. <clears throat> so we are going to put this on here. This is going to be a very simple one. Other than the fact that I have to glue down another washi sticker and hopefully I have enough glue left in my stick that I can do this. Uh oh. That I can do this without it totally dying on me. Okay. I think we'll try and get two more of these and then we'll call it a day. Um, and I'll have all of these ones that I can put in my box to decorate up, which I love that idea. I mean, I still love the fact that even if I don't get them all done, even if I get some of them done, it's, um, it makes me feel like I've accomplished something and I have stuff that I can decorate and it's all good.
So And like I said, with these, it's a matter of getting things made for that journal because I, I really want to get it done so I can share it with you guys. So it's, I'm really excited to just work on some uh, like little tags and things to go in pockets. But I'll tell you what, these videos have been getting longer and longer because I've been trying to get, you know, to the decorating part because I feel like I never do that. And so I got that one. These are turning out very simple. And then I have one more that I cut out the pieces for. And if this goes pretty quick, maybe I can throw together another one, but I don't know for sure. Um, I am going to get my ink out and distress this blue a little bit. I just feel like it's a little... I mean, I like it, don't get me wrong, but it's a little bright. So we're going to do that. I might have to get out my other... I might have to get out my other glue. Yes, Monica. Monica's visiting. I I'm just making all of the appearances. <laughs> what do you what do you need? Ow. My glue my uh, hot glue gun's hot. It's plugged in. Are you I think she's coming up here to wave at everybody. Da -da. It's a struggle, you're messy. Can't walk. It's a small, it's a really small area with not a lot of space. What's up? Doesn't help that everything's on the floor now, does it? That's because I don't have any place to put it. What do you need? I thought you were calling um your friend. She's busy. Not, not answering at the not, moment. Not busy. She's just not answering at the moment. Not. <gasps> okay. Well, we're just getting through this video. We're almost done. And they just do. That's my um tag template. It's it, my tag template now. <laughs> what are you gonna do with it? I don't know. Steal it from you. Our kid's great. It's yes, uh, we are. I'll answer that question for you. Um, so that goes on here. I'll show you how I use it in just a second. Just gotta get all these little pieces glued down. Yeah, I broke out my glitter glue because my glue stick finally died. Ah. Did you just say glitter glue? That's the brand for glitter. Why would you brand normal glue glitter glue? Why would you? I don't know why they call it that. Okay, so this is what you use it for. You pick a corner to make it a tag shape. And so that both corners are the same, you use the little... I know all you guys know this. I'm telling her. Oh, I'm not experienced in the craft. Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> so there. And then this is... You can do different size corners, but it makes them all the same. Okay. Uh... Oh no. Oh, pen. Okay, so here's the cards that we made. I have all of these that I can play with and decorate. Uh, I did get a belly band and a pocket. And here's another tag. <laughs> For some reason, Monica wants to run off with all my tags. So this is what we got done. And I've used up an entire glue stick today, guys. All right. So uh, these are the ones we got done, and um, I hope you guys are joining in with these collabs. They're fun. And I look, she gave me my tags back. And um, I hope you'll join me when I do uh, week 29 and whatever other crafty things I decide to get myself into. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.